This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to the second episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and as always my dear friend Melly is back to talk about this time a very somber, very serious movie from 1981. Uh, Der Schüler Gerber, uh, I think in, in, in English, English, Student Gerber. Gerber. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 1981 TV movie uh, that we watched just today and now uh, I think collected enough in our mm. thoughts about the movie that we can talk about it. So the first thing um, I want to go into is general plot. Mm -hmm. So we have a uh, student Gerber who's a pretty well-doing student middle class family yeah exactly upper middle class mm -hmm. his father is i think a, a, a doctor yeah that's yeah right. and uh yeah the, it's it's and it takes place between world war one and world war two in vienna yeah yes the, the the setting is very specific and i think they brought brought up really good feeling because i've okay i lived in vienna all the time but the sets and everything looked like it could be 1930s Vienna. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it takes place around the time be before World War II, before Hitler annexed, took over, annexed uh, Austria and yes. took over Vienna. Uh, but before that, Austria was already a very kind of fascist country. Yes. Under yes. Engelbert Dollfuss. Yes. Who we see like on the wall of the classroom. That's That's correct. Yeah. And yes, yes, the, so it, it's already a very oppressive setting. And you see the fascist kind of dictatorship-like uh, mentality seeping through society, in this case, in the form of the very well played, in my opinion, but let's go to that uh, later on, um, mm -hmm. very interesting role of uh, Dr. Kupfer, Dr. Copper, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Who's uh, after the old head of what? What? What's the? Uh, what would be the title? Like class president or class master? Yeah, class master, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the main teacher in all in Austrian school system is the there's a main teacher for every class. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's in America like that. Yeah. Me too. So that's that's a tidbit. Mm -hmm. And it's the second to last year at the beginning of the movie and the old class master leaves because he's too old and he's getting his pension and everything and he wants just some peace and quiet and everybody's a bit sad and they mm. they have this Yeah, and they have this total asshole, this this kind of offer authoritarian fascist yeah. teacher who turns out to be a former officer in the Austro-Hungarian army. Yeah, during the First, during World, the First World War. War. Yeah. And, yeah. and he shows up and you already know he is really a no-bullshit kind of type guy. Yeah, in general, you, yeah. Would, you would say that he just doesn't like to play, uh, like be, do a little bit of banter or something with mm -hmm. the students. He's, he's the, the embodiment of that uh, a, the school should be just a place of learning what's in the textbooks and that's it he, like he he's um a crazy rule follower like when when uh his mother uh yeah, Ger gerber's, Ger yeah, gerber's, gerber's mother um, pleads for, for 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 an audience yeah and he just waves off and says no on friday between i think yeah, 10 yeah. and 11 you 10 can and show 11 where yeah yeah you, yeah you can you can show time, up time yeah to talk to the teacher about their student yeah exactly their, uh, th i mean their kid their son yep yeah so so he's 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 uh uh a thing i think uh an like, authority figure you can hate yeah yeah kind of like nurse ratchet in one flew to cuckoo's nest yes yes exactly that's what i was yes. talking about very and 
the movie really has like vibes when you watch it. It, re- it really feels like you're watching Dead Poet Society. Yeah, exactly. Very, very much like. Yeah, but it's 1981, and Dead Poets Society is what? It's New New England. Yeah. Um, 1950s New England. Yeah, exactly. So the the, the difference is, is is apparent. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no but, te- but there's no teacher who's and, like nice. Yeah, and it, it has more of a realistic feel to it because mm-hmm. um, they had this dead poet society moment when the old head uh, the class master leaves, they all bump the tables yeah, and like and cheer him on to yeah. stay, and then the bell rings and everybody leaves, like. That wouldn't happen in in in, in that mm-hmm. poet society. It yeah, would go yeah. on and be a great moment, but it, here reality seeps in and makes you, and I, I guess uh, realize that again, this is this is it is a movie, but it is I guess a kind of more realistic version mm-hmm. yeah. of the world it tries to represent. Yeah. Yeah. So um, he he. So the new. Uh, Classmaster arrives. He's a he's an ironclad dick. Completely. <laughs> and yeah. and he 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 starts to because they already know each other from uh, the the trip he takes with his dad. Yeah. Gerber knows him already from the trip, and he remembers him too. So he already has his sight his sight set on him as a you know as a disturbing element. He mm-hmm. sees he seems he seem, he seems to see that uh, the the Doctor Kupfer uh, Professor Kupfer mm-hmm. uh, he 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 kind of already sees the enemy inside of him, yeah. like like mm-hmm. he sees some some element that has to be eradicated from the beginning, mm-hmm. and he's. But he's a dick to everybody in the yeah, class. Not, not not just the Gerber. Like there's three or four scenes where where they uh, where he takes a quick exam and just gives everybody like a split second to answer and then just fails them. Yeah. Outright. Yeah. Nicht genügend. Yeah. Or in in America it would be F minus. Yeah. Exactly. Like you failed hard. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So he he's 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 a, he's an asshole. And he he tries to, yeah, st- like push 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 um, the students, students to the limit. Yeah, exactly. Their, or down to, or down. Yeah. in this case. Yeah, in many cases. Yeah, exactly. Like even other, he's not the only one who's feeling really uncomfortable. Yeah, and it, it even co- comes to a point where one of the students, uh, one of the students called Benda, who's yeah. really really smart normally. Yeah. But as soon as he arrives, the bad teacher, I mean. Yeah. He could, he really takes a dive. Takes a dive. Yeah. To, after that point, and he kills himself. Well, it's only implied. Or it's, impli- it's implied. It's implied. It's implied, that he it's implied he, because he never shows up to class, and then they tell him that tell him that he died. So it's only yeah. implied that that he. Well, it's our interpretation. Inter- inter- interpretation. Inter- you know, interpretation. Interpretation. Yeah. Sorry, man. Oh, no yeah. We 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 are drinking wine, by the way. At very very good bottle of Rioja. Well, mm. cheers, cheers, <coughs> cheers to you. Cheers. Ah, um, sorry. It's an Austrian. It's an Austrian podcast. You have to have alcohol in it. You know, it's 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 a it's a given. You have to culturally adapt, Nelly. <laughs> You're totally I, adapted. I, I completely adapted. <laughs> You're over adapted, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's a practice. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So and and it all culminates it, at the end uh, at the matura, which is basically the SATs, mm-hmm. the high school, the last big high school exam, and um, Gerber already failed the last class but got picked up to go into the the matura which adds extra pressure for mm-hmm. him and he failed in the classes of course the only two classes he failed are the ones that are headed by his class master yeah, Kup- yeah who's yeah of course he failed him because yeah, yeah they hated each other and uh well there, there are some moments where you kind of see his point of view for example when he sees Gerber sneaking out to meet uh, during class yeah. to meet a lady 
from his point of view, it looks like he just went outside to, you know, talk to a pretty lady during class. Yeah. And that's like everything his belief system goes against. So it kind of is logical, his mm. hate in there. But he goes way overboard. <laughs> way yeah, overboard. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, uh, at the end of the scene where Gerber ha has his Matura. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the, team, the big the team, finale. Yeah, that's a big finale, by the way. And the Kupfer, he he uh, purposely puts him into math because yeah. the teachers they can they can pick which student they're gonna do the exam they, on. They're good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he picks exactly math at where Gerber is the worst at. Yeah, exactly. And he well, kinda, uh, and he the kinda, worst the worst is relative because holy sh shalom, that was that was some. Hardcore math. Yeah, trigonometry. Yeah, yeah I'm not good at math, but I, at me, least. Me too. I, yeah. I always hated math. Yeah, no, I didn't hate math. I just wasn't good at it. That was my problem. I, I liked the concept of it. I understood the, its importance, but I was like, yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's how far I go. Yeah. But he's, he's not bad, you know? But he's super nervous. And I actually got like this PTSD flashback kind of to yeah, my Matura. But my Matura and I was like, oh, fuck. This is exactly like that yeah, time yeah. I, I was there. It's, yeah, it was crazy. I, I got serious flashback. And it was super intense. Yeah, and, and he the, the actor who played Gerber, who, yeah. he was really good, good at that was that was Yes, yes. That was this, really this, well done. This trauma and... And the end... Of the movie culminates in Gerber jumping to his death. Yes, solemnly uh, looking out the window. Yeah, typical Austrian dep depression move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he, it's it's only implied first that he jumps, and then they the other students get the results that everybody passed, even Gerber, mm -hmm. and his friend tries to tell him, tries to runs tell him. up. And sees that he jumped out the window and is dead yeah. down on the floor. Or unless he yeah. survived, but the movie nope, wasn't. nope. Or this it, is this uh, is not an American movie. Yeah. In an American movie, they would After rescue him scenes. or something. Yeah. So this this is typical Austria. I I think this this is like stereo in some regards when it comes to movie making, very stereotypically Austrian. And lots of skiing. Yes. Yes. They actually what. Three separate, three separate skiing scenes. Yes, and everybody smokes. And everybody smokes. Everybody <laughs> smokes. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> the teachers like smoke like a shit ton when they were in in their in the in this uh, teachers lounge. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was crazy. But yeah, let's. That's the. I guess mm -hmm. we can round up that as the the the, the plot. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So, so the movie starts. The old headmaster is retiring, and a new one comes in, which is Kupfer, who's yeah. a fascist, authoritarian dick slash bag. asshole, dick bag, yeah, slash dick bag, yeah. And Gerber, he kind of suf suffers the most, yes, in the classroom, and he tries to like cope with it. And next to that, he also has like a love story. Yes, exactly. Like, we like totally missed out on the on the love Lisa because it it adds to his depression. Mm -hmm. It adds to his, his his failures, I guess. Yeah, and, and another one of those failures is his uh, depressions. I mean, are his par parents? Oh, totally. Putting, putting pressure on him because yes. they're in an upper upper middle class family and yes. Catholic and. Yes, and his father is like, yes, you bring. He's like an old don't, Chinese don't old Chinese me. man. Yeah. Don't bring shame on family. Yeah, don't oh, fail me, son. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that 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 uh, because always his his words came out of love the father's yeah, words yeah and he was like just, you're my favorite just... yeah yeah and then the end is it always twists the message of his like i love you unconditionally but don't fuck up <laughs> please don't fuck up. yeah man. don't bring shame on us yeah and it that that like puts this twist on it that puts extra pressure mm -hmm. on gerber and yes and he has this love story actually with <laughs> let's come back to that but uh, he uh, about the, the 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 soft glow that she has. Yeah. Yeah, but let's talk it's, about it's, that uh, in cinema. It's one of those te technical property. things, but yeah. we'll we'll talk about that later. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, he has this love story. He has a, this love story that puts pressure on him because yeah. the girl, he, she kind of like teases him like a lot. Yeah. 
She keeps it on a him him on and a very loose rope, but knows when to yank it. Yeah. So that she doesn't lose him. Right. That's yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty yeah. Much. Like she she, t- she typical girl stuff. No we, no we no no. no. <laughs> we we we, 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 we just we just we just got burned and a bitter. That's that's our problem because I never was treated like that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that because he went to, through some rough stuff, man. Like, she she k- kisses him while she's with another guy during yeah. the skiing trip. Yeah, yeah. And, and she she like says, "Hey, my my foot my foot feels really sore," and then yeah. she like twists it. Yeah, like you know, stuff that would it. be really pa- painful. Yeah. Yeah. And she doesn't twitch or anything. Yeah, she she's very mani- manipulative in in her Ma- mani- mani- manipulative in in uh in her ways. Um, uh, yeah, and yeah, so so she's she puts extra pressure on him, or but adds, also adds. I want to I want to comment that all these scenes with Lisa are kind of slowing it down. Yes, for, for me at least. Yeah, I don't know about you. Oh yeah, no, they f- they, they yeah. definitely felt yeah. like a B story. Yeah, something that could be cut, because it, the, the 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 focus point is always the classroom. It's always the duality or r- r- rivalry, more or less, between mm. uh, Gerber and, and Kupfer. Yeah, they and they play off each other so well. So I guess I think we we're gonna uh, skip the script because we already included that in the plot, and now go to. Uh, Best performance, and uh, yeah, so it's it was really hard for me because Kupfer can't exist without Gerber. Gerber can't exist without Kupfer. I'll go. And that, and and those both are really well yeah, done. They, really both. well done. And just because I can relate more to him, I'm. I was I was never this rebellious. I only really spoke out in this kind of way as he did to a teacher once, and I got yeah. actually got a citation in the school in the class book yeah. because of that. Oh. My only one in my whole fourteen years of school in total. I only got one citation, and that was because of that. <laughs> and I only argued that the onions could be chopped in more than one way. To get cubed onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so so yeah, I I'm going with Gerber just because I want also to yeah hear both sides. So you 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 picked him. I I picked Kupfer. Yeah. Because um I can really like you said like you said uh I can relate to Gerber more because I was a school student myself and went through all that BS myself. Yeah. But Kupfer, he really, or this actor at least, yes, he plays that role like Played really well. Like Werner he, Kreindl. Werner Kreindl. Yeah, he 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 embodies Austrian fascism, I guess, yeah, in a way, completely in like the best way. Yeah, I f- I think he he would he would be able to play like every like I don't know. SS Nazi villain. Yes, yes, he he's like a proto proto. Christoph Waltz because yeah. he doesn't have the sleaziness. He's not sleazy. Yeah. He's just a, an ironclad rule follower to the to the hardest degree, plus added some some revenge fetishism. Yeah, yeah. He he would be like a great pick for Hans Lander in Glorious Bastards. Yeah, like when it was filmed. If, yeah, it was filmed at that if, time. If it would be like you know a, a, a Clint Eastwood stick from the seventies. That guy would be perfect for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that would be awesome, actually. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Inglourious Bastards as a 1970s made-for-TV movie with Clint Eastwood in the main role. This this sounds like a real spaghetti western. Yeah, so, yeah. so off-topic. So yeah. yeah, so... yeah. So, Kupfer's my, my favorite character. Paul's yes. is yes. Gerber. Yeah, because, again, I, I really relate to the guy. He's... I think very well played. Like mm. you, you see the the anguish and the heartache that he he feels. Or I just I'm just projecting. Mm. I don't know yeah, yeah. because I feel very yeah. And he's he's played by Gabriel Barilli. 
So yeah, that was that was that was amazing. He he was very well cast. Actually, I think, especially what when it comes to the to for example the parents or the students, they are all yeah really they're, they're well all cast. Great. They're all good. Yeah, I I was I was amazed, you know. And uh, uh, Lisa, for example, was very well cast too. She she, she even though she had a shit script to yeah. work with. Yeah. She, Shit dialogue. Yeah, it, it it never culminated to anything really mm-hmm. worthwhile in the end. I think, and I think that's that's a shame because she was actually the actress actually brought some life to the role. Yeah, yeah that I you could totally give that role to Nicolas Cage and he would like do it really stone cold. <laughs> <laughs> but she Nothing. brought some life to it. She 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 actually made the, for me at least in the character interesting because. I wanted to know her motivations. I wanted yeah. to see plus, her story. Plus, but it didn't ever show it. Plus, I would have liked it more if she would be like the light side of the story. Like if Gurra came home and like... Well, yeah, but... Like, that's again, the movie was depressing. Yeah, I, was again, depressing. That, yeah again, that's... that's, that's, that's uh, Which doesn't mean it's bad, but then again, too much, de- too much depression in the movie... movie yeah. Yeah, it brings you down, of it course. It brings me yeah, down. Yeah, but, but but again, it's it, it yeah. it's what what do you want to do? Do you want to stand faithful to the book? Yeah, I or or, I or, or or do you wanna do you wanna uh, you know take in the part in the Americanization of films and just yeah, do a happy f- happy ending kind of way or a yeah, bittersweet it, ending? Because this ending is just horrible. Mm-hmm. Nobody wins. Yeah. You know? Because apparently Kupfer stepped down a little bit at the end and let him pass. And even though, so he broke his own rules, I guess, Mm -hmm. or his hatred, or he was the bigger man, which I, the the whole movie never said that he would be. Yeah. 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 Speaking of that, um, he, in the whole movie, he's being addressed as like God. Yes. Yes. Literally. No, literally as yeah, God. Yes, and he, he, he. Uh, I guess in, in a kind of way, as the wrathful God, mm-hmm. he brings it. You know, yeah, like, every ca- single failure to abide to his wishes is, is is is, you know, struck down. Yeah, like Zeus. Yes, yes, he's an old school God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, so so yeah, we 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 both. Agree that mm-hmm. our picks are good, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because I like both, they, they, I like both of them. Yeah, actually. and again, they play off each other so well that they heighten each other's performances. Again, if you would put a shit Gerber next to this amazing mm-hmm. Kupfer, it wouldn't play as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we have, we, have, we agree on, to, to disagree on this one, yeah. even though we agree that both of those decisions are good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, let's let's turn on to to something else. We we talked about the best performance now. So the next one is uh, uh, our biggest moment. moment. And um, yeah, so f- for me, biggest moment I guess would be. It's an easy pick, actually. Mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Because it was for me personally the the, the end scene, yeah, yeah, I was gonna the think big that finale well. <laughs> where yeah. they, they they are taking take, taking yeah. the matura taking the SATs, yeah, th- this is again it actually caused me to have PTSD and anxiety like yeah. like ah oh, f- oh I, I, I'm so happy I never have to take that again <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> So what we're talking about is the maturum. Yeah. Is the SAT. Yeah. Where all students are in their last stage. Yes. Into life. Pretty yeah. Much. Or you know going in, to a university. Going to a job. Job. Get university. A job, because especially back, especially back then, the matura was actually a really excellent. You know. Mm. Nowadays, I think 40, 30 or forty percent of students, uh, of pupils go on to get a matura yeah. at some point back then it was like 10 percent or 15 yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was actually really prestigious already to get that so the pressure from the parents side at least yeah, and teachers yes is 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 
relatively uh, high. Yeah, ha- relatively high and understandable too. Yeah, because yeah. if you do that, you can be like every everything like a doctor. Well, a you lawyer. can come become a doctor yeah, or a lawyer, but yeah. before yes, you have the, the the chance to go to university, which you don't if you just finish school the regular so, yeah. way. So you, you guys can can imagine the whole pressure thing. Pre- pressure and and the difficulty. Yeah. So. As we mentioned before, um, Kupfer assigns a math to Gerber. Yes. And uh, Gerber, he struggled. He really struggled with it, with, with, yes. all, with all the integrals. I don't know. What yeah, it was. It was, it was a, a trigonometry. A, one was a trigonometry question. Yeah. I was, but it was the second one. The first one was a, a, a rent. Uh, right, calculation, right. Yeah, rent calculation, yeah, and and you can like see he's like sh- shaking a little. He's holding the yeah. He has the formula like down. He has the mm-hmm. formula down, but yeah. not completely. And uh, yeah, his 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 and teacher Kupfer, Kupfer corrects him all the, the time, times, all the time. And even when he at one point Gerber, I think has the answer. Yeah, but Kupfer falls in with the with. The answer too so that he answered it not gerber yeah. which yeah. was a big move i was yeah. like fuck yeah. you yeah and he just you know parades his knowledge around i guess yeah like com- like in front of the other teachers yeah to show that he's bo- and the boss. students who and try students. who try to you know help gerber but it's you know a public hearing you can't really yeah, cheat you, yeah you have to like whisper but you know you can't really hear no no what they're saying yeah so yeah, he he's his confidence. Everything is destroyed at the, at that moment, because again, I was in the same seat. I I did okay mm-hmm. during the matur. Mm-hmm. I did okay. I, I I passed it and everything. But yes, on I could to I can totally relate to him at that moment. Mm-hmm. I was yeah, like, I was I was stressed out. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. It was, it was really a tense scene. It's, yeah, they, it's they, like the the scene you gotta watch. Exactly. Yes, exactly. And uh, yeah, that's I think f- for the biggest moment. I think we uh, have for, for me. W- yeah, not counting the ending scene. Yeah, I would say the the scene where Kupfer is in, is in the second day of teaching. Yeah, and all the students have to uh, write down on a piece of paper, like solve some math. Yes. Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, some math questions. Some math questions. Yeah, and it's like really quiet in the in the whole scene, like no wor- words at all. Yeah, except for one one guy who's like whispering to another guy. Another guy, hey, do, do you have do you have one question? Can you help? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, you, you can ima- imagine how 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 it goes because you can't talk loud loudly in front of the teacher, yeah. of course. And Kupfer, he holds a newspaper. To pretend uh, that he's not looking at the, at, the, yes. at the pupils, yeah, if they're teaching or not, if they're cheating or not, yeah. But then one one of them like tries to like reach. No, Ger- Gerber gets a piece, piece of paper. paper handed to him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And first thing, and then the next thing that happens, Kupfer stands up and he uh, catches. Yeah, him Ger- in the act. In the, in the act. And like and, and and you me as an audience as somebody who saw the movie, you like thinking like like how the hell do you know how do you know and turns out yeah yeah he has the classic two, the classic trick he has yeah two holes drilled a uh, punch yeah. in through the newspaper so yeah see. but this moment also drives home the point that 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 uh, Kupfer really has it out for Garber alone because mm. he already watched the other guys cheat and he yeah. didn't bust them. He yeah. explicitly waited until the piece of paper was in Garber's hand, you yeah. know, yeah, and to to make his morality to prove his to, own to morality, just right? His, to, to just drive down his morale. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, demoralized. That's yeah. the word. Yeah, it's uh, he 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 actually wages a kind of psychological warfare on him. Yeah, Com- uh, yeah. I I could totally get nifty package. See, yeah, I I could t- see myself totally st- be stressed out. Mm-hmm. at that point and, and the scene goes like really long goes out really long like three minutes three four yeah or that's less the, yeah, than that yeah yeah and the more you watch it and the more you see the the pupils act yeah 
you yeah you, you see can, every you stereotype yeah. in every kind of like there's a guy with the glasses the awkward guy and there's a yeah. the small guy there's the one guy who's overly confident and knows everything yeah but then he's <laughs> like he's like dumbstruck yeah exactly yeah one one guy has like um ink on his fingers yeah yeah and yeah like you always his, got one one of those face. guys yes yeah like, yes We're i like think i think messy. that still happens i it's, think there's still one kid in class who has ink on his hands yeah i was that kid at some point yeah, yeah me too i had, <laughs> I had, I had, I had a shitty shitty uh um, yeah you had a shitty it? pen yeah i had a shitty pen, pen at one point like le leaking all the time ah yeah no i never had that i've always you know yeah la later on i had one of those really cool ones the stabilo oh ones. yeah they're, you they're upgraded awesome. you upgraded your uh, pen game yeah level, <laughs> level five maxed out yeah and you see so, see too that they are all well off because most of them have watches mm. which is back then was like a watch for a kid even when you he's mean, 18. Uh, yeah a wrist watch yeah. for an 18 year old was a lot of money back then that was like a high class item to get to, to give to a kid so you know that most of them are doing was, a well off was, families was austria at the time like really poor or like so that -poor? so the, the, the depression hit austria really hard and even though uh the fascist uh government tried to uh cut down and expand at the same time through uh labor driven projects oh, i learned so much of that in university i'm so happy i can spill <laughs> that uh they never got out of that rut, which made the takeover from the uh, through the for the nazi empire that much easier yeah yeah everybody wanted not lesson so learned thank you this was a <laughs> free history lesson with yeah, paul yeah yeah but yeah austria never did well during that time um during the mm -hmm. first republic actually f a lot of the social uh programs that were initiated back then were like really really yeah, modern yeah, the, the social projects those, yeah those low-cost housing yeah and yeah. they were they were you know that was actually kind of upscale because you had washing rooms that were centralized with actual mm -hmm. washing machines you had you had toilets and bathrooms inside your apartment yeah, yeah yeah it it was it actually from a from a and from an architectural point of view actually amazing yeah still to this point yeah so yeah enough yeah. Enough, yeah. enough enough gushing enough, gushing enough, over yeah, over the yeah. first republic <laughs> they are all yeah. dead now yeah, but it's, it's, yeah. it's interesting and a lot of fascists too still <laughs> um yeah so uh it, it is it is a good time piece Mm -hmm. I guess can generally. So uh go let's go to a uh, uh I guess kind of last point the uh cinematography. <laughs> so uh in general I had the feeling that uh the it was just well shot. Especially mm -hmm. for a TV movie you see it by the feet four by three aspect ratio. Mm -hmm it's the the film is grainy in some parts and you see mm. especially when it's not well lit that you have contrast going up the ass yeah yeah and also just a little side note to the to the sound is sometimes yeah. the actors sound really quiet yeah or they have get, get adr lead yeah. lines or something yeah like but that. then they come closer to the camera and it's like really loud yeah yeah that's typical tv movie yeah yeah but, uh, but, that, but that's not really Pro yeah problem. so so it, it it has a few moments that were at least recognizable oh and yeah whenever lisa shows up there's always like a weird <laughs> yes like let's go back to that one yeah we, yeah we teased it yes lisa yeah. has like this soft glow filter as no but only in scenes where they just frame her head and that's it yeah if there's somebody in else in the yeah. picture they don't put in the soft glow filter it's just yeah, it might be intentional Oh, that was definitely it, intentional that, because intentional, it, it was, yeah. I guess it was out of the perspective from Gerber every mm, time. Mm. And it was just to show yeah. his, his undying love or, or, or his, or, you know, just butterflies in the stomach. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so, so the cinematography that there were a few moments like when, uh, 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 Kupfer does his first inquisitional exam mm -hmm. where he gives a uh, 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 not pass to everyone mm -hmm. 
basically. And you have Gerber's yeah. head yeah, and yeah. it turns from this dolly shot. Yeah, 180 degree. Turn. Dolly shot and yeah. then the scene switches from the exam to the end of class. Yeah, and then, they, and then it, it's revealed that the newspaper has like two holes where it can Yeah, that through. was really well done. That I was think. really well done. I think that uh, it's just a very steady shot. Nothing exciting. And I think that would also detract from the movie as a serious piece. Yeah, yeah. Because this, is, this movie is all serious, no fun. Yeah, but there were some scenes where it's like really weird. Like like when, okay. when Gerber, after the Matura, yeah. he walks out, goes down the hallway, yeah. looks out the window. It was like kind of kind of weird because the camera was like zooming in on him. Oh, on true. Window, yeah. And then, then again and then again. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, loop, it, like looping. Yeah. I think that, that that was just a mistake on the cutting floor. I, in yeah. my opinion. I yeah, think yeah cuz I don't know if it was a mistake from the movie or like from the DVD we watched yeah from. maybe maybe that that was fucked up too I don't know yeah it, yeah it that was weird yeah that was really weird but still uh in general but, cinema cinematography just a, a well done job it yeah. doesn't detract from the movie it doesn't do anything too flashy it's just good he- good craftsmanship i yeah. guess yeah. yeah oh no shaky cam Oh no jump cuts. Oh no jump cuts. Exactly. Well, but there were some There were some weird transitions, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The beginning, the very first beginning, the yeah. it when you wa- watch it, it feel it feels like you're you you missed a scene before that. Yeah, like you 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 went away from from, you know, like, you go to, you think you, you there's still credits rolling. Yeah. And you go away and then you come back and there was an after credit scene or something like that yeah. and you fuck ah, I missed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what what we're trying to say is uh, when you start the movie, you see the old headmaster talk uh, saying to the students that he's retiring. Yeah, exactly. And all the it students feels like the end of a movie. It feels like the end of the movie, but then later on it, you see the credit opening credits, which was really weird. Cause, yeah, yeah, it just felt like you skipped the scene or you or you accidentally pressed next chapter on the remote or anything or something. Yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, but again, but. I don't really know if I should count it like as a negative, but it was definitely like a weird moment. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, again, I think the whole movie had one of his goals was just to make the the viewer uncomfortable. Yeah, and I figured it exceeded it and, exceeded yeah. at that task. Yeah, not like Tiger Fruiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah in our chrono- chronology, in, in from from going from a really weird but happy movie to to a really really dark one in the end but well crafted one really well crafted yeah because you totally see the 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 red like the the red line going through the whole movie Mm -hmm. and you you, it hits the points most of the time it it's just a well done movie in general yeah Yeah. so so i think we can go 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 uh now to to i think our final conclusion what do you think about the movie? Mm-hmm. If you would re- recommend it and all that. So, final conclusion. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Give me your thoughts first. So, yeah. What do you, f- if you, you think? If you get the chance to watch the movie, watch it. But I, I would say watch it. De- definitely, just just watch it. Yeah. It's definitely not a waste of your time. If for for German German viewers, that will be no problem. For American or English speaking viewers, it shouldn't, that be, too, would it shouldn't be, be too hard to to find some 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 subtitles for that movie. Yeah, yeah, shouldn't be. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know if it streams on Netflix. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would, that would be that would be a yeah. shocker. Yeah, <laughs> if it does, I'm gonna look that up. If it does, uh, um, I'm gonna put a link for the U- U.S. Mm-hmm. viewers. You get. You get a link, I guess. <laughs> a, sub- a subtitle one? No, to to go to Netflix. Oh, oh, or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. if it's oh, on Netflix mean, yeah, or not, yeah. not, I'm gonna just put yeah. that in the description. So yeah, I would, yeah, I would say like nine out of ten, maybe. Really? You would? Okay, I I, I was. I mean, it sounds over. It sounds like I'm overrating this movie, but well, I really, we, I, I didn't. We really... never talked about giving uh, the rating system or yeah, anything. Yeah, so it's just a just a quick rating. Okay, for, yeah, for let's do a quick rating. Yeah. I would give it a. a, a yeah, I wouldn't go nine out of ten, but still an eight out of ten or something like that, just because of the the main performances, 
the the script which is transfers apparently really well from the book of course it does mm -hmm. cut parts of the book because you can't do that in a yeah, movie you can't, you can't do all that especially in a tv movie Yeah. He cut the whole alien scene where, where the Earth is attacked by aliens and Grover defeats it together with <laughs> Professor <laughs> Kupfer because Grover is brought back to life. They couldn't shoot that back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough yeah, silliness. Let's, let's not enough silliness! <laughs> yeah. Let's not forget, books don't matter. Exactly, exactly. Yes, the books don't matter. It's just a movie in this case. and It's well done. It has... A few really good moments mm -hmm. that definitely elevated from you know yeah. box standard. Yeah, like I said, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't over. I'm not trying to like overrate this movie, but I didn't really find any negative parts of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there yeah. there are some sloppy mistakes, I guess, but yeah. nothing that would you know grind it, your it's gears. Like, it's like zero point two or zero point five minus. Yeah, yeah, from a, yeah, yeah. The, 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 you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like really uh, minor mistakes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Yeah, I would, I would recommend this movie too. I guess the only thing I would, you know, imply would be, well, imply would recommend is mm. that you should start out with a good mood already. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're already depressed and you watch this movie, it's just gonna don't. Yeah, definitely it, don't it, watch it's it. just gonna plunge you into even more sadness. Because that mm. that's a job well done from the movie side. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, okay. I think uh, we already talked about like 39 minutes about this movie already. Mm -hmm. Amazing how time flies by. But I think this is a good second episode, a good second movie for this podcast. Yeah, next one will be a lot funnier. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully a lot, a lot funnier. You never know with Austrian movies. Um, yeah. <laughs> Even the funny ones end sadly sometimes, but <laughs> oh, spoiler alert! But yes, uh, I hope we can uh, you listen in the next time too. Uh, thank you, Nelly, for <laughs> being my prestigious guest. Oh, I interrupted your wine drinking. Sorry. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, but no, thank you for being being my co-host again. And uh, the website is up and running and everything. You can comment. You can share. Hopefully, uh, rate and subscribe. Yes, rate and subscribe, bitches. Uh, we need those upwards. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for uh, being here again. Uh, we will see each other again, hopefully, uh, at the next definitely, episode definitely. of FFP. Yeah. And awesome. uh, goodbye to all of you. Goodbye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>